How much of the Swiss Alps can I see in four days? In my backpack, I have everything I need for flying, camping, and hiking my way through the mountains. All of my equipment weighs around 20 kilos, and I'll have to carry it on my back or inside my harness during the flight. This epic, unsupported adventure through the Swiss Alps wasn't easy, with strong winds, stable valleys, tough top landings, and growing exhaustion. There was some incredible flying up to 4,000 meters over the main divide, breathtaking scenery, stunning sunsets, and magic moments. Morning. It's looking like a cracker day. There's no wind up here. Blue skies. My plan is to walk up there to the top so that I've got the choice of flying on either side because the ultimate intention is to, is to go that way. Maybe wait until I can climb high enough on this side and then lob over or just launch off to the other side. But at least from the top, I'll have the choice. I need to, oh, I've got my bloody camel back. I drank all my water yesterday, so leave all the gear up here and I'm gonna to have to go down probably a few hundred meters to find a, a stream to refill the water so I can have breakfast and hydrate before the flight. So I'm just trying to figure out where the water is. It could be something down here that's leading to this uh, little bit of water there. I don't really want to drink that because it's not flowing and it couldn't be, it might not be good. Yeah, not keen on that. It looks a bit of skank. And there's nothing flowing out of here that I can hear. Aha! There it is. It's only 200 meters lower than I was wanting, but. There we go. We filled up. Coming straight out the ground. Cool, back at camp. That took me about an hour. And uh, now I'm just gonna make a coffee whilst I pack up camp and then walk up there. Oh, this will do. Nice grassy takeoff. I can't afford to break another line. <clears throat> I made a repair on the one I broke yesterday, but it's only temporary. Nothing's screaming to me that it's super on yet. So, I mean, it's 10 a.m. I need to uh, operate some patience. This isn't a race. I'm not, I don't really have any set objective. I just want to go flying and camping. So I'm going to wait until it comes on a bit better. Some obvious signs that it's on. Maybe some cumulus, we've got no cloud at the moment. It looks quite stable. Probably make some breakfast. Might go and walk around and have a look off the other side. Because if it stays stable like this, then I might just try and lob off the other side and fly in the direction of the center. So there's a lake on the other side. But yeah, the views up here are pretty good. I've been playing spot the cumulus and I haven't found anything until now. Cool. It's looking like it's just turning on and this one is, isn't really much above me, but this one here, oh, and another one's forming there. Getting ready to make my first move. I'm gonna fly over these. Hopefully I get a climb, but there's no cloud, so I'm not overly confident. I'm gonna give it a go. And if not, I'm just gonna try and glide as far down that valley as I can so that I can hike up and then maybe have an afternoon flight. Next move, 
this ridge. It's going well right so far. Topping out at 2,800 meters. See if I can get any higher on this one. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video, you can support the channel by giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. If you have any questions, make sure you leave us a comment below and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, go check out part one. I'll leave a link in the description. Feeling a little stuck here, struggling to climb. I'm just soaring the valley wind that's coming up through that lake, hoping for a thermal to roll through, but it seems pretty stable. Oh, I'm making a move. I don't know if it's the right one. Getting nailed now. Flying through the lee. It's white capping on that, on that lake. Ah. Rough. Hoping I can soar on that. There's power lines below me to make sure I can clear those, otherwise I've got to land up here. Oh, I've got a thermal. It's a change from soaring the valley wind. So I'm probably gonna go over onto those south faces. Will be the next move. I top this out until it stops, follow this ridge, and then onto one of those south facing ridges. I'm not going to those south faces anymore. I'm gonna go over to these west faces on the side that I'm already on. You may notice that I have a tendency to change my mind. <laughs> And there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, I've got no idea where I'm going. And uh, secondly, my altitude keeps changing. So I get presented with more options and then sometimes a better one presents itself to me. So here we are, chopping and changing. But I'm up at 3,250 meters, which is spectacular. You can see over into the glaciers, Das Descentis down there. And I'm heading in the direction of Chur. So how you pronounce it in New Zealand, it would be Chur, but I think they call it Kerr or something incorrect here. I don't know. Anyway, going for that pointy one that's in the sun, and then hopefully I get a climb up there, and then I'll go to the next pointy one that's in the sun, which is over there. Cool. <laughs> 3,760 meters. Oh, amazing. Oh, the views up here are just ridiculous. Good day out. This has been a bloody good day out. All right, so I'm gonna keep going, flying over this pointy stuff, and then I'm gonna go over to this next uh, pointy ridge that's facing the sun. Going this way. Yoo-hoo! I wonder if I can make Austria. I'm probably getting a bit ahead of myself, but...
Oh, it's pretty, uh, pretty rocky and in the sun this. Feels like the wind's coming across it a wee bit, but hoping this is gonna work. I'm in a bit low here. was pretty intense got the heart rate rate going sunny face it had the wind kind of coming across like up that valley and it was coming across those steep spines so it was quite rough but eventually I've got above the ridge now into a really nice climb that's the kind of territory where throwing your reserve doesn't really do you many favors I mean, it's better than not throwing it, but it's not somewhere you want to throw. It's about pretty steep. Seems to be a bit stuck here, considering landing. This wouldn't be a bad starting place for tomorrow. It's a bit windy. I'm just soaring and I'm not really getting any climbs. So yeah, unless I get a climb, I'm gonna camp here, I think. Oh, what a mega flight. What an incredible day. Ah, oh, oh, it was good. I got stuck in the beginning. I had to be really patient. Um, there was a decent valley wind coming over that lake in the beginning where the dam was. And I managed to saw my way up out of the valley wind and then get really established. And yeah, I'm glad I waited and I was patient before taking off today. And then had an amazing run through the, the bigger mountains and up to like 3,800, I think, was the highest I got. And uh, yeah, and I came in here and I'm just south. I'm about 20k south of Chur or Kerr. So I'm well positioned for a bloody lie-in again. <laughs> there's a nice little, there's a small lake on the other side of this ridge. So that's where I'm gonna set up camp, I think. What's for dinner? You guessed it, it's mashed potato with brie. And stuffing, instant stuffing mix is a good hack. Or if you don't know what that is, just ask your English mate what stuffing is. I'm getting pretty tired of it, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> and I've run out of salt, so it's quite bland. But it's hot and the view is pretty good. Check it out. Oh, I'm just enjoying the sunset. What a brilliant day. Spectacular views now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. Um, whether I'm going to keep going east or maybe I'll try and fly back to fish. Back to the van. But we'll see if there's loads of westerly then I won't bother because swimming up stream is pretty, pretty hard going sometimes. I think we'll make the final day tomorrow. Um, maybe one more night but I'll get the train back to fish on on friday so hopefully another good day's flying another cracker like today would be great forecast looks good but uh i'm just enjoying the view at the moment Loads of high cloud. Is that gonna clear? Looks pretty thick. Looks like it could rain. Hmm. This has lowered my expectations of the day. So I've packed up. 
and uh, trying to make a decision what to do. I don't know what to do. Getting pretty tired of this. Fourth day of instant mashed potato and stuffing mix. I've run out of salt and I've eaten all the cheese. Cheese from the last of the cheese went yesterday. All right, I've decided on an objective. I'm gonna try and fly back to the van. But the day's obviously looking pretty average. I expect it will get better, but I'm not gonna sit around. So I'm gonna hike over to this peak and then I'm gonna make a glide across the valley to the next ridge, have another hike, get to the top there, and then hopefully I get a thermic flight and I will work my way down the valley in the direction of Decentis. Oh, it's just started raining. And the closer I get to feast, the less time I have to spend on a train. Food situation, all I've got is a couple of bags of instant mashed potato, so it's fairly miserable. There's a rain shower just about to pass through, so I've just improvised this shelter out of my fly. I don't know how long it's going to stay up for. <laughs> Starting to look better, like once this front passes, should be pretty good. It's looking good over on the south faces. All right, I'm making my first crossing. I got my first climb and there's a load of high cloud. So if it doesn't work off the bat, I'm gonna have to think about slope landing and waiting. Not mega high, this is quite a long crossing actually. Got the wind behind me. Oh, I picked a spot with a lot of cables. Cool. All right. Going to hike up, wait for this uh, high cloud to pass and take off again. The high cloud's pretty much all passed now. I spent the time waiting. I walked up the hill another 100 meters or so. I've got a breeze coming up the hill now. So yeah, I'm going to get ready and lob off again. See these, these clouds look great, but you've got a bit of a lean this way. So it looks like it's westerly up top, which was forecast. All right, let's try that again. Oh, it's pretty hard work. Gonna end up down in the valley at this rate. Then I don't know what I'll do. Ugh, what am I going to do here? Not working at all. It looks mega up there. Do I wait? Do I hike? Just too shallow. I'm on the wrong hill, I've decided. Looks mega up there. And even where I took off from this morning, which is this one, has got a lovely cumulus crowd above it. Even this one on the other side of the valley has got lovely cumulus above it. Oh, this, oh, my one does. Have one there, but I feel like I'm not going to get up from this low down. I'm going to wait and see if it improves. And then I'm probably going to give it a crack. And then if I end up in the valley, I think it's beer and ice cream time. And then in that case, either way, I'm winning. That's enough sitting around. I'm giving it another 25 minutes to see if it comes more on. But it doesn't really feel like it has, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. But it's been a bloody good trip. Just a shame because it's such a good day. I should have hiked all the way to the top on that last hike. Oh well, it's not the first 
good day I fucked up. I'm sure it won't be the last. <laughs> this sport can always be humbling, but it is mega, look at it. So takeaway from that is that a series of bad decisions, I guess. Took off too early, flew onto the wrong face. It was too shallow. It was an east face in the shade of the high cloud. And then by the time the high cloud gone, had gone, didn't really have the sun anymore. So that was too low. And I should have hiked all the way to the top, which I didn't. I just walked up 100 meters and I thought I'd be all right, but it wasn't. I should have walked to the top and now it's really turned on. It looks mega. I should have maybe even gone over to this one instead of that one that I was on. But hey-ho, such is life. Now I'm walking to the train station and I've just missed the train. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe because I keep making more videos like this. And uh, yeah, see you next time.